Right, I'll see you later. All right, so here's LP. And I want to talk to you a little bit about front center. And I'm going to show you on my bike later. And I kind of stumbled on this with another channel that I've been watching called Chad's Life. And he, very knowledgeable guy, and has an NASCAR Hey Dude. He has two Hey Dudes. He has a titanium one and the steel one. But he talks about front center and you know how the, the frames have kind of got more aggressive with this front center design and how that's beneficial for mountain biking with hardtails and probably full suspension too but for these purposes let's talk about hardtails as you know I'm a hardtail rider so when you deal with a geometry and you adapt with that geometry based on the trails you're riding you probably don't overanalyze things and you're just kind of using your bike the way it is and if it's got outdated geometry you're fine you just do it I mean my 9 or Sir 9 I was riding as a rigid single speed on this trail for years is completely outdated by today's standards as far as head tube angle and other basic stuff and it worked I made it work but when you get into and start riding a bike that is designed with a better front center and a better geo to make it react better and with your travel i have a 120 travel on this bike fork on this bike a 130 fork on my hey duke when you get it to where it works better with with your bikes with your travel i'm clipping out there every time you guys i don't know why i just don't feel like dealing with with hikers i saw you thank you just me Good thing I wasn't bombing down that too fast. And there will be hikers here. And I don't have my bell. And these are my silent <laughs> Onyx hubs, which I love. But anyway, back to geometry. When you have a, a bike with more progressive geometry, I think there's some things they really make a difference and some some things that you can get yourself in trouble with and I feel like one of those is seat tube angle I like my seat tube angle on my Escar Jaffe and on my Hey Duke and haven't had a problem with them being too slack because couple things I size down on this frame it's a small frame and I'm 5'6 there's a hiker hello Sorry. no worries and it's so I size down and that allowed me to do some other alterations like have a seat that actually makes it even slacker because I push my seat all the way back 
um, on the rails and then I have and to make the front end a little longer I have a 50 millimeter stem so it works the way I set it up it worked for me and I've adapted to it but it also here was a bush it was down here somewhere not here so it works for me is I made it work with different alterations that I could do with you know little things like a longer stem a lot of guys are doing the real short stem and sizing up because they want the longer front center of the bikes that are, have the long top tube well they do they all do now pretty much and they want to get it even longer so they size up if you size up then you are gonna have to alter it the other way and it's best that I show you with my bike and I'll do that in the next video what I mean by that this is the hardest part for hardtail plowing through this stuff and this is also where it's good that you're comfortable with your geo when you're balancing and pedaling and doing all this stuff at the same time And I like talking to you guys and showing you that you got to get comfortable on your bike. It's not as hard as you think once you get used to it. It's literally, it's experience. Getting that experience with your bikes. And no matter what your bike geo is and how often you ride that particular bike because some of you might have several bikes like I do that you you've you've kind of vented it out if you will and you're comfortable with your bike setups and you're tweaking your bike setups to figure out hey this is working good for me or this isn't working good and I need to change it there's more to change on your bike than just tires and tire pressure is obviously changing the different little things like your geometry and you can't change the overall geometry of the frame but you could change what parts you put on there to make a longer effective top tube or a slacker effective um, C tube um, angle. <sighs> Need to cut that down, but that's going to be a job for a big saw. That's a nice pass section, too, as you guys know. But oh well. It is what it is. Maybe I can come back here later on after work and cut that fucker down with this, my regular uh, garden saw. Not, I can't bring a, motor, a motorized chainsaw 
here it's against the law i think i could bring an electric but i don't have an electric so So, anyway, ride your bike, get to know the geometry, don't just read about it, ride your bike and see what this talk does with you and how you feel with a front center bike. Hello. And change out your stem if you have to change out the width of your handlebars if you have to change out the, the different seats maybe you need something with longer rails maybe you're maybe you're you're still on a on a static seat post so you could still change it out to one that's not set back and straight up oh this is down Okay, that's the video, guys. Thanks for watching.